Our next presenter is talking about the process of change itself. Lisa will outline ways to embrace change as part of our natural human need to learn and grow, whether we wanted the change or not in the first place. So please welcome to the stage, Lisa Lord. Good morning. Good morning. I see people take it a quick break. I want to thank Cheryl for setting me up in my next slide because I agree thoroughly. The only thing constant in life is change. So here's the thing about change. You go through a pretty predictable pattern. There's denial and then some resistance and then you finally make the transition and eventually you explore and you commit. Let's, um, let's give an example of this, a really easy one. Anybody ever drive to work and all of a sudden you see they're putting up a detour? Don't you hate that? It's like, I just finally know when to leave so I can get there on time and they're going to be doing work on the road. There's a detour. So at first, it says the detour will start on November 1st. And on November 1st, you get there and you're like, mm, maybe they haven't started yet. <laughs> so I'll go my usual way. This is denial. OK. <laughs> You go your usual way, and you're on your way, and you're like, cool, I got away with it, good. But now it's a week later, and you think you can still get away with it, and you go, and all of a sudden, they've stopped you. And you have to turn around and double back, and now you're going to get late to work. And so now you're kind of pissed. And you're really, really irritated that this change is happening. This is the start of resistance. It shows up again the next day when you forget that you had to turn around and you go the same way. And they're, oh my god, they're making me turn around again. Ultimately, you finally decide, fine, fine, fine. I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go the detour. I'm going to add the 10 minutes to my commute. I'm getting used to it. That's when you're in this place of transition. It's like, all right, I'm starting to do it this way. But the real exciting part is when you get to exploration and you discover, oh my god, there is a Trader Joe's on my way to work if I go this way. <laughs> I love Trader Joe's. I can't wait to stop there. I'm going to stop there on my way home. And thank god there's a Trader Joe's. I can get exactly what I want. That's my favorite grocery store. And then you commit to driving that way because now you see a benefit in it. OK, got it? This is the change curve. Now, remember, we were talking about your bank account. The first part of this curve is all about spending from your bank account. When you're in denial, when you're resistant, when, before you agree to take that step and do the change, you are spending from your bank account. The good news is, as soon as you open up to learn and explore and discover, you are adding to your bank account. Stepping outside your comfort zone opens the possibility for happiness. Stepping outside your limiting beliefs creates freedom. And it enables you to change and grow. And that bank account gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Thank you.